Knock, mm-hmm. knock. Come in. Stand. Come in. Hi, my name is Carol B. I'm going to be your nurse today. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. All right, hand hygiene. Close curtains of privacy. Can I have your name and date of birth? Um, Sarah Smith. Sarah Smith. What's your date of birth, Sarah? Um, November 22nd, 1979. Okay, Sarah Smith. I'm going to look at your wristband, November 22nd, 1979. Sarah, my name is Carol. I'm going to be your nurse today, and if it's okay with you, we're going to do a head-to-toe assessment. Okay. Are you in any pain right now? No, ma'am. Good, so it's zero on the zero to ten scale? Yes. Good. Alright. Okay. Sarah. I'm going to ask you some silly questions. Can you tell me where you are right now? Rasmussen Hospital. Okay. And what's today's date? Today is July 20th. Very good. So you go times three. Sarah, I'm going to give you three words to remember, and then before I leave, I'm going to ask you to remember them. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. So the three words are cat, boat, fish. Cat, boat, fish. Very good. Very good. All right. So I'm inspecting and palpating the head. Checking and palpating the cranium, looking at the eyebrows, eyelashes, eyelids, conjunctiva is pink, square is white. Sarah, look at my nose and I'm going to shine this light in your eye. Good. Pupils are equal around and reactive to light. Sarah, take a look at my pen light and she can accommodate. Good. So, Sarah, how many fingers do I have up? Two. Two. Okay, that was cranial nerve number two. Cranial nerve number three was pupillary constriction. And if you can take a look at my pen light, Ewan's are intact, and that's cranial nerve three, four, and six. Looking in the ears, I don't see anything. Okay. Now, which ear do you hear this? Left. Good. Which ear do you hear it? Right. Hear this? Very good. Looking in the nose. Open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. All right, good. Move your tongue around. Okay. (laughs) And swallow. Good. Good. Cranial nerves 9, 10, and 12. Open and close your jaw. Open your mouth. Very good. That's cranial nerve number 5. Will you smile for me? Give me a nice big smile. Puff your cheeks out. Wiggle your eyebrows. That's cranial nerve number 7. So I've assessed cranial nerve number two, three, three, four, and six, five, and seven, nine, ten, and twelve, eight, and then the last one is eleven. Push my hand away. Good. Push my hand away, or shrug. Need some resistance. Very good. That's cranial nerve number eleven. So the neck, the trachea is midline. I see no JVD. There's no swelling. There's no swelling above the clavicles. I don't feel any lymph nodes. Do the swallow test. Now I'm going to inspect uh, and palpate the chest. Okay. Sarah, when I ask you to take a deep breath in and out, go ahead, deep breath. Another one, deep breath in and out. Another one. Another one. Two more and we're done. And last one. Good, and I'll check the back later. While I have my stethoscope out, I'm going to listen to the Heart sounds. Okay. Aortic, second intercostal space, right side of the sternum. And then breathe normally, please. Second intercostal space, left side of the sternum, pulmonic valve. Third is herbs point. <clears throat> fifth is the um, tricuspid. And then fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line is the mitral. 
So now I'm going to flip my bell and I'm going to listen to the mitral, the tricuspid. Depending upon what book you read, it might be the fourth or the fifth. Third is herbs point, pulmonic, and aortic. I'm going to go to the abdomen. I'm going to inspect and auscultate the abdomen, starting in the right lower quadrant. And I'm listening for bowel sounds. If I hear it, I move on. And I hear good bowel sounds. If I didn't hear anything, I'd listen for five minutes. Okay, I'm going to do light palpation with one hand only, working my way around the abdomen, over the liver, epigastric, spleen, suprapubic center. Are you having any pain? No. Good. So I inspected, auscultated, palpated. Sarah, when was your last bowel movement? This morning. All right, was it normal? Yes. Good. Um, are you having any problems urinating at all? No. No? It doesn't burn? No. There's no odor? No. Um, any vaginal bleeding or discharge? Mm -hmm. And if it was a male, I would ask if they're having uh, any discharge from the penis? No. no. Okay. <laughs> are you sexually active? Yes. Okay. So that's something to think about. You know, you'll have to look at STDs. And when was the last menstrual period? Uh, two weeks ago. Okay. So you're not pregnant? No. It was a normal period? Yes. Okay. All right. GI, GI, GU. Now, I'm going to start at the shoulders. If I don't do it now, I'm going to forget to do it later. So, inspect and palpate the arms and look at the elbows, look at the joints for any redness or discoloration. Down both sides. Okay. So, I'm going to check. I'm going to do neuro first. So squeeze my hands nice and tight. Good. Which finger am I touching? Pinky. Good. Which finger am I touching? Thumb. Good. That was uh, sensory motor. Now I'm going to check circulation and I'm going to check the radial pulses bilaterally and they are equal. And I'll check capillary refill. Good. Work my way down. Inspect and palpate the legs with the joints for any swelling or redness and found a wound, so I'm gonna stop and I will address that, and then I'm gonna continue. Inspect and palpate. Okay, now when I get down to the feet, now I'm looking for pedal edema. Doing circulation, uh, uh, dorsalis pedis, posterior tibialis, capillary refill. I see some necrotic uh, wounds here, so I'm not going to check that. I can check these feet, and if I can't do capillary refill, then I'll just do the Blanche test to make sure there's good circulation. Now, motor, push my hands away from you. If that doesn't hurt, and push up. Good. Check Babinski. Ooh. <laughs> Babinski. <laughs> All right, negative Babinski. That's good. All right, so cover him back up. I have put a dressing on that wound. I'm gonna be very careful with these toes. And now, Sarah, I'm gonna roll you over and look at your back. Okay. And I'm gonna call the CNA to come in here and help me. Sarah, will you come in here and help me? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're gonna put the feet together. And I'm gonna put the video. Thank you. Okay. You all right? Are you okay, sir? My drapes fell out. <laughs> what? My drape fell out. Your drape fell out. Can you breathe? Oh. Yeah. I guess it's... Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> all right. I wonder how many people are going to watch this video. Too many. Oh, see, it's on the wrong side. Okay. Okay, Sarah. Now, I don't want to go on the scapular. I don't want to go on the spine, so I'm going to go in between the two. Sarah, take a deep breath in and out. Good. Another one. Another one. Last two more. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. Getting dizzy? Okay, last one. 
So now I'm going to check any um, if, where there's any bony prominences for any skin breakdown or anything unusual. Uh, all the way down. Check the coccyx, the buttocks, that whole area. Do you see anything down there? Yep. And back to the legs, behind the heels. Big area of skin breakdown is behind the heels. All right, so let's lay Sarah back down. How are you doing, Sarah? Any pain? No, ma'am. You made it through your head throat assessment okay? Yes, ma'am. Good. You comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you warm enough? Yes. Now, can you tell me those three words that I asked you about before? Cat, boat, fish. Very good. So I'm going to go through my four P's. If she, if she has to go to the bathroom, any pain, if she's positioned correctly, and what's the last one? Proximity. Proximity. Do you have everything that you need? Your call bell, your TV remote control, you have everything that you need, and that the bed is down, two rails are up. Take my gloves off. Home hand hygiene. Sarah, I'll be back later to check up on you, and in the meantime, if you need anything, just press the call bell and I'll be right here. Okay, thank All right, you. See you later. Bye. <laughs>